The media proliferates those narratives, narratives that should be challenged because they unfairly demonize people like Angel Reese, while at the same time valorizing people like Caitlin Clark for doing the same shit. Angel Reese, you can't be the big, big bad wolf, but mm. then kind of cry like Courage the Cowardly Dog. Mm. Because if you want to act grown, which she has, if you want to get paid like you grown, which you are, then post game when you take an L, you just got to take it on the chin. So his advice is let the media create narratives around your actions. And then when you're at a low point, let the media beat you up about the shit that they made up. Because if we being honest, this ain't about her acting grown or talking grown. You, he only using that paternalistic language because his argument is trash anyway. The only reason she got painted as a villain is because last year she beat the great white hype, Caitlin Clark, and white folk got their feelings hurt. Let's not forget, Angel Reese is a champion. Caitlin Clark is still trying to get hers. Acho needs to be reminded that when Caitlin Clark was doing the Tony Yayo, they was just calling her competitive. Angel does it back to Caitlyn, wins the national championship, and she's been a villain in the media ever since, Acho. This display of racial illiteracy by this magical Negro, this same Negro that values white comfort over honesty and difficult conversations, is the reason why black media is consistently being called out today. Y'all get these platforms and then shuck and jive for white acceptance. Ignoring the racial implications of a black woman star athlete being pinned as the villain for a white woman star athlete is disingenuous and it's irresponsible. That's why I'm not surprised that Acho is joining in this anti-black propaganda because this is the same dude who likes to pat white folk on the back during uncomfortable conversations with a black man. Angel Reese is being crucified for beating up on Caitlin Clark last year. That's it. All the other reasons y'all trying to come up with well, for why y'all bullying and still picking at this black woman is all just racism and sexism. And of course, it's Acho that swoops in and provides these races with comfort and confirmation. I would say Acho should be embarrassed with this take, but given his track record, I mean, this is the same dude that was sitting in a prayer circle singing Kumbaya with the police. So, you know.